Hey guys, today we are going to show you how you could update your Samsung Galaxy S2 that is GT i9100 to the latest Android 4.0.3 that is Ice Cream Sandwich firmware. In order to get started, you need to visit the blog that is androidadvices.com and then search for this package that is XXKP8. Following which you would be finding a download link uh, which you need to extract with the password that is androidadvices.com and then you would find the following files onto your computer in this you need to ensure that the Odin 3 is a exe file and the others are all the supported files next you need to enable the usb debugging option onto your device onto your phone so in order to get started you need to tap on settings and then applications under the development and then enable the usb debugging mode once you do that uh, you need to turn off your phone and then get it into the download mode in order to get into the, your phone into the download mode you need to you can directly check out the video which we have added on on our blog wherein you need to press the volume down button and the home key at the same time and then switch on your device if the process is done perfectly this would take the phone directly into download mode and then you would be shown with a warning which says that a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications if you would like want to download a custom OS press the volume up key which is the continue press the volume up key and the phone is on the downloading mode next once the device is on the downloading mode you need to go back to the downloaded files and run the Odin application here as you can see we are on the Odin application and as you can see here there is nothing listed now you need to connect the phone to the PC and you would find that the driver should be installed As you can see the drivers are installed and the ID com is turned into different color and we are ready now you need to match the files and browse the same like the PIT should be selected to the PIT PDF should go for the code file so let us just go with the process one by one let's select the source folder PIT goes for PIT PDA goes for the code file and then phone goes for modem file and csc is the last one so phone goes for the modem and csc is for the gti network multi csc file so once you have selected all these four files as you mentioned uh, listed here you need to press the start button now you need to ensure that you do not unplug the cable and following this the update would begin as you can see the initialization has started and the firmware files are being transferred there is a progress bar being shown on the device right now which is slowly moving towards the right and this means that on an average the firmware update normally takes around 5 to 10 minutes and in worst case at max, at max around 15 minutes and in case the process gets uh, struck in the middle or the phone gets hanged you don't have to worry you can just unplug the battery out and uh, re restart the whole process again
whenever you update your phone to the custom rom you need to ensure that you have backed up all your important data from your sd card and also your sms messages and your contacts list are synced with google let us just get ahead with the next step wherein once the process is completed you need to switch off the phone and then get it into the recovery mode wherein you need to press the volume up key and the home key and then press switch on the mobile once you are in the recovery mode you need to swipe data or factory reset and then select the wipe cache partition option following which you need to reboot the device this would complete the firmware update and you would find that the phone is in the xxkp8 android 4.0.3 version as you can see here the project is about to complete and the f now here as you can see transmission complete and the f uh, device response has been received now the phone is rebooting as you can see the option says pass which means that the process is completed now the phone is rebooting and the logo has shown now a different logo is coming up which is the ice cream sandwich robot so there's no much need of uh, odin as of now we can just close it off and then as mentioned earlier we need to reboot the device and get into recovery mode and delete the cache partition so let's just first wait for the phone to boot up and see if the process was complete or not It does take a while uh, to reboot whenever you have installed a custom ROM or you have restored to your stock ROM because all the settings have to be set up and uh, the home screen and the initial setup would show up for the first time. So you don't have to worry if it takes around 2 to 3 minutes also. Here we are with the welcome screen and proceeding towards the installation. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to our channel for more related information and videos. Thanks for watching.